It's coffee time, folks. It's supper time, too. What are y'all up to? It's come to cook tonight. We got chicken over here. That We got broccoli boiling. We're making a quick chicken casserole. Another one dish wonder. We are using the oven, but we've had no sunshine today. It's pretty cool. So this is all gonna be quick and easy. Watch closely because you can make this in a hurry. So to this, I'm gonna read you the rest of chicken casserole. Quite simply that. I think uh, this is a version of my chicken casserole. Um, you put cooked chicken breasts cut into pieces. How many you need? Broccoli cut in a uh, fine chop, it said. One can of cream of chicken soup, one cup of mayo, a tablespoon of lemon juice, one small yellow onion, a half a cup of chopped celery, salt and pepper to taste, y'all's southern secret to taste, and a little bit of Frank's hot sauce. You top it with cheddar cheese, and then you put a tube of crackers on uh, about 15 minutes uh, before it's done. No. Bake for 15 minutes on 400, then add townhouse crackers uh, at the very end with butter, and we're gonna do all that. So, in here, I'm just gonna mix it right in this right here, because I don't wanna have to even have another bowl. So I'm gonna start out with our cup of mayo. Now, I'm gonna use, this is something we picked up for some reason, this is our store brand, and this is whipped, that's, uh, well, I don't even know what it's called. Miracle Whipped dressing. Miracle Whip. And I'm not using it on the sandwich or anything. So I'm going to use this casserole really just to use it before it gets old. But I am going to put a little bit of Wonderful Dicks in there. Just because I know what that's all about. So that's our cup of mayo. The whipped is fine. It tastes like Miracle Whip. And I don't know why, I must have had a recipe that called for Miracle Whip and we was getting it, I don't know. But that's what we did. Can y'all see? This is a can of cream of chicken soup. It's our store brand. In here he goes. I didn't, didn't uh, spray the pan or nothing because you got all this mayonnaise and all this oil going in here, it will be fine. Sometimes cream of chicken comes out in one beautiful glob, and sometimes you have to beg it out. Come on, boys and girls, get out of there. We'll do Rix's, Rix's. You don't have to do these. Two of these being up. Oh, great. And so this is the mayonnaise and the cream of chicken soup. And I'm just gonna stir them together right here. And I'm going to switch on down here. I'm going to go ahead and put my lemon juice in here. It, this is what we use. It's the Minute Maid Frozen that we always use. And I'm just going to quickly drop in a tablespoon of lemon juice. That's going to give it a little lemony flavor. Also, the Frank's Hot Sauce. How much is this? A tablespoon of it, too. Ooh, that's too much for this old woman. <laughs> I'll put a little less, Mama. Good, that's enough. That's a plenty. Yeah, that's more than enough. I've got the lid on. All right. I'm putting it up fast if we decide adding more. It fast. won't make it hot. It'll make it flavorful. Just stir all these in together. Now you can put this in a bowl. You feel more comfortable with that? I've heard people say I don't like to mix it up in the dish I'm gonna cook it in. Boy, I do. I love that. So all that's mixed together, all that wonderfulness right there is mixed together. I'm going to crack a little bit of salt, uh, pepper and a little bit of salt in here. Two texts. Like my black pepper, so I'm going to put a goodly amount of it in there. You're through with the can too, aren't you? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to some of this ancient salt or whatever it's called. Mama did cook the chicken earlier, so to say it just takes a few minutes to make this, maybe a little off, you know, because you do have to have your cooked chicken, but you can use a rotisserie chicken, you can use canned chicken. If you're into that canned chicken, um, a lot of people use that, and that's fine. You do you. 
But we did cook breast today. Mama did that today. She knew we was having this. So there is the majority of the vegetables. Look at this beautiful celery. And I'm using those leaves right in here. Come out here to this chopping board. And let's get this on the works. Now this is supposed to be a half a cup of celery. And it's going to be whatever two of these small ribs are. Um, I'm not measuring it. But that's what the breast piece is. Okay, so we're going to split this down to here because I want some smaller dices. Mama, if you want to drain that chicken off for that one, one of those breasts that you Nice yeah, is, is done, Mama. Hot sauce you done put up. I hear the hot sauce. The lemon juice is done. Everything's about that. This don't take long at all to fix on a Tuesday night here. Celery going in. And now this is just a medium yellow onion, okay? And I'm just going to dice it up real quick, right before your very eyes. Just dice him up. Cut him that way. Turn him over. Cut him this way. And he's going to be beautifully diced. Beautiful diced. Two of these enough for that dish? Oh, maybe too much more. Let's just see. Just see what it brings. Just rough chop him up, and it's going to be just what the recipe orders. We've had rain for the past couple of days, and that's wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. It came a good little rain a while ago. Um, it rained hard. Yeah, and that's good for the flowers, good for the earth. Good for the garden, what's left before the frost gets it. And uh, it really is just a wonderful thing to get rain in August. Anytime we can get it here. We've had, I've seen August with no rain. Um, and you think, we are going to dry up and blow away. We've not had any bad summers. Like we, I remember one year, there wasn't a sprig of green, nothing. Everything was dried up. Do you remember that, Mama? Oh, yeah. I remember churches was having special prayer. I remember. You walk on your yard and you... It was crunchy. Crunchy, crunch, crunch. crunch. Um... So we've had some bad droughts and bad times with... Do you reckon you don't need all this onion? That's quite a bit. Well, we'll save this little jib jib here, okay? Now, this is two breasts that Mama just cut up. You want a board for that or this onion too? Uh, mm, whatever you say, Mama. Uh, it's so tender, it's just about falling apart. Oh, you think it's all... Hand me that board and I'll give it a good whack whack here. Yeah. Thank you. It's just about falling apart, as you can see. I can't even pick it up, but I can get a better cut. I think the broccoli is... Think what? Yeah. Now that was two crowns of broccoli. You don't want it open, but she did. No. Oh, man. That was, you can go ahead and put it in there. Uh, that was two, what do you call them? I guess the crown is the small pieces, so it was more than it was a two stops. I know what it's called. Stops. No, it's just drained. Yeah, just drain it. We're ready for it. That's a little bit of chicken juice. It ain't gonna hurt. A little broth. A little broth ain't gonna hurt. I love a good casserole. It's a southern thing. Mama likes casseroles better now than she ever has in her life. 
Mama was not a casserole girl. I remember when I was a kid, I'd go to her older sister's house and she'd fix a few casseroles. Mama never was. She was a meat and three. We'd have a meat. We'd have about three sides. Pound of cornbread, pound of biscuit bread, or something like that. Yeah. And uh, I guess I've introduced you into the casserole world. Yeah. But you like them a lot, don't you? Yeah. So in here is all of our ingredients. Let's do a little quick scan. This is the Y'all's Southern Secret. I'm going to put it just over the top like you know I do. Give it a good dose. And let's see here. Cooked chicken breast. However many you want. This was two breasts. Uh, whole half breast. So it's one whole breast, but better fly it out. It was big, though. One can of creamy chicken soup, one cup of mayo. I switched that up a little bit and put some uh, whipped salad dressing in it. Uh, just trying to use that up. A tablespoon of lemon juice, one small yellow onion, a half a cup of chopped celery, salt and pepper to taste, one teaspoon or a tablespoon of uh, Frank's hot sauce, and top with cheddar cheese and bake for 15 minutes. Uh, on 400, then add your townhouse crackers. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this and I'm going to put some cheta, cheta cheese on it. And uh, we're ready to bake it. And then we'll add our crackers and all that. So I just want to incorporate the broccoli, the onions, and all that. Get it all in there good. Now remember, these are your recipes. If you want to add some y'all like crooked neck squash to this would be good. You can add anything you want. If you want to put asparagus in it or something like that, it would be good. Uh, but this is just our little quick version. I like to make this one for a couple of reasons. It's easy. We know it tastes good. I know mama loves it. And it doesn't take long. That's, that's good. Because everything in it's ready. You can eat this right now. The broccoli's cooked. The onions are raw, but, you know, they're going to cook quickly. Are you getting the cheese for us? Yeah, I want you to use clean up. This, up. This clean up. We do that. We open up little cheeses everywhere. Somebody up. does. I don't know if it's me. I don't know who it is, too. And we're going to melt us a stick of, or, well, we may get by with a half a stick. Cause I've changed most of my recipes to half a sticks because a whole stick of butter on top of something it's a lot of butter a lot of flavor i understand but it's still a lot of butter and here's some cheddar cheese now that's it folks now you can go ahead in fact i think i'm not you can go ahead and put your crackers on here now, or you can do it in a two-part process. Well, it just gives the cheese time to melt. Right. Crackers. You can bake that off, and then you can... It says the total... I must have wrote this. The 15 minutes at 400, because that's what, we, what yeah. we cooked it at one time, and it worked out really well. This is eight tablespoons, so let's go with four here. I, you could do a whole stick, but I've done it with half a stick so much now. I think whole stick might be too much. That's it, folks. That's the um, whole gist of it. And, and you can be out of the kitchen in just a minute with this. 15 minutes is what it says. I hope we can get by with that. We'll be back. Alright. I'm going to put this up here. I'm going to clean up these mess here. I was going to do that. Right. Believe it or not, Mama, that's what I was going to do. Well, I've got it for you. Maybe it's you missed the spot. I've got a piece of onion. <laughs> I love it. Me get to remind her she missed a spot. 
hate the way it usually goes around here, folks. If you haven't tried the Y'all Seasons, try them. Uh, the coffee, I drink it every day. I don't drink anything else anymore, but it is delicious. And it is, um, you can get off their website, and anything you get on there, they'll give you 10% if you use the code John, J O H N, when you get ready to check out. And then me and Mama get a point for you all here and here. So it's a win win. It's just a, the points are just like a little friendly competition around all the uh, influencers that do cooking and stuff. So, and that's the crush, that crushed them up quick. This is just a small one, but if you got a hoe tube, use a hoe tube. I smack them, so I keep them because they stay fresher. Mama likes the fresh. Mama, if you'll hand me a fork, I won't dirty up anything else. We're tired of dirty up dishes. I'm sick of dishes. <laughs> and I'll eat out that fork. <laughs> Are y'all sick of dishes? I want disposable dishes. I mean, like measuring cups and plates and... I know they're supposed to disposable plates. But I'm talking about, you know... Wouldn't it be... Wouldn't it be great if you had disposable clothes and disposable dishes? Besides plastic. Just, you know... I don't know. Just something magical. It just... Clean itself or wouldn't allow food to stick to it. I know you see as you are looking at me like, he is crazy. But let me tell you, somebody told me one time in the 80s that they would we'd have little cell phones that we could carry around in our pocket and it had more information on it than NASA. And I laughed because I thought that can't be right. She also told us that someday TVs would hang on walls like pictures and they'd be really thin. That's like when we had the floor models. And you had, you know, the nativity on the top of it. Everybody had that at Christmas. I didn't believe it then. I thought that was far-fetched. All that information's already come true. And it's getting better and better. And she predicted other future things. This was, a, she said, it was my science teacher, Miss Davenport, and she said, you know, I get on teens now for passing notes and stuff. She said, I'll be getting on teens in the future for using your phones in class. And well, that was back when phones normally were in a bag. And they were big. And they were expensive. And you only used them for emergencies. You certainly didn't text. I'm that old. That's true. I'm pre-internet. I'm older than that. I remember when you didn't have phones. They wasn't ever heard of. Mama remembers four house phones. No, I don't remember four house phones. I remember we never did have one. See, that's all mixed up. I do this. The recipes now will call crumble a tube of Ritz or townhouse crackers and then drizzle butter over top. I'm no good at the drizzling. I'm more of a puddler. Uh, it'll puddle up on there, and I'm like, oh, I've got too much in that spot, not enough here. This right here alleviates all that. I don't have to worry about it because I put it right in here. All that crackers are all buttery and delicious, and there's nothing wrong with that picture. But anyway, so having disposable dishes would be something that could happen, or disposable clothes that were black clothes. But we didn't have to launder it. Do you know they've come out with, which I'm sure you all know this, they've come out with little sheets, kind of like dryer sheets that are detergent and they just dissolve in your washing machine. So no more of that box loads of dry powder or gallons of liquid. You just have a little box of thin sheets. You throw it in there and it dissolves. They've come a long way. Can you imagine if you didn't have to wash clothes and you didn't have to wash dishes? You would save tons of time. Maybe I won't see that, but maybe I will. Some of you young inventors out there, get to work on that. I'm telling you, it'd be a hit. You'd be as popular as Mr. Courier or whatever his name is that invented the air conditioning. He's real popular, especially right here, right now. Um, if we had some of the way of getting rid of dirty clothes and dirty dishes. Even my beautiful coffee cup. If it was just wouldn't get dirty. I 
no, I have not. Mama don't know about me. I've embarrassed her in front of all y'all. Did I embarrass you in front of your friends, Mama? Yes, don't lie. I just don't want me. You'll have it till it be instant people. Don't feel away. We're gonna do that. Instant people? Yeah. That would be harder, Mama. You'd have instant everything. Nah. Not everything. Okay, folks. That's it. That's chicken casserole done easy on a Tuesday night. No, you can use cheating chicken. You can use cheating chicken. You can use frozen chicken. You could use canned chicken if you want to. Or you get a rotisserie. You know now, they're even, I hear, they ain't hit here yet. They even sell rotisserie chicken I already pulled off the bone for you in some delis. Let's chat a while. Y'all are hateful. Get over yourselves. Are you talking about I was watching one of your videos today and Mama said your no bake cookies were better when you were three years old. Did she? She says that because that's the truth. When I was three years old, I could make a mean no bake and now I can't. You don't try now. You don't try, she said. I think I've had the patience. Hi, John and Mom. Hey, Francis, hon. How are you? Hey, Rebecca. I use them sheets for my laundry. They are great. Well, Rebecca, I'm glad to hear that because I have not tried them. And I was wondering if any of y'all had them. Use the dishwasher. We, we, we're working on that. We're working on that dishwasher thing. Uh, we're having bad drought in Texas. Sharon, Listen, I pray y'all get some rain. They've had the heat and drought, but it's bad. Yeah, it's awful. Party line, Pam. We had a party line at this house. It was my granny's house then. Uh, we had a party line with several neighbors, and we'd have to pick up the phone. That's to be able to hang it up. Pick up the phone. It's waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. I remember the party line. Now we didn't have a party line at Mama's, but Granny had one because it's probably a few dollars cheaper. And she's like, "I ain't paying for no dedicated line. That's crazy. I don't talk on the phone anyway. I can hear her saying it." Please get mics, Carolyn. Um, uh, Connie, we've ha we've got mics, but they don't work good for us. Mama, she could take it off and put it on, maybe. I don't know. But when Mama buzzes around like a butterfly all the time, it's noisy. And then I get tons and tons of comments like, "Yens are too noisy. I can't hear you." And then, "No, we'll post the recipe. Yes, she will, Charles." Uh, okay. Lasagna and soup sounds good. I put a little celery seed in my crackers and butter on top. Well, Cindy, I haven't tried that. That would probably be better. I made butter pecan cake mix. Ooh, Ooh that sounds good too. We got some rain today, praise the Lord. Listen, yeah, we've got, and I'm so thankful for what we've got. We went a week or two without it, and it was bad. Tampa, Florida. Hey, Gail. Hey, Lisa. How are you? We were on a party line. I never owned the voting business. Ooh, I bet that was hard. I can hear you loud and clear. Thank you, Carol. Some people hear us. Some people say they can't. Uh, we've got a high volume or capacity, whatever, microphone that I plug into the bottom of the phone. And it seems to do a good job. But some people say they still can't hear us. From Atlanta, Georgia. Hello, Julie. Hi, hey, Sylvia. Quick chicken casserole with canned chicken. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, praying for safety for Florida. It's something going on in Florida with Kim. I haven't watched the internet. I haven't been on the internet. So if something's going on in Florida, it's a hurricane. It's going to look like mentioned that. Hey, John and Mama, I fixed pinto beans. And macaroni. You know, somebody sent us a pinto bean pie the other day. A uh, recipe because we were talking about it. And I'm anxious to try it. I'm so anxious to try it. I've got it sitting right here ready. And wait. That's a Bush's pinto bean pie. 
she, she sent us this, says she ran across this card right after we talked about it. I've been to the Bush's factory plant two or three times. Mama's had her picture made of that dog. I don't remember getting one of those. What's, what's the dog's name? Duke. 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 So Mama's had got her picture with Duke two or three times. I sure do remember it being so aggravating if you wanted to use the phone. Yeah, Pam. It's something else. Hello, John and Mama from Elizabethton, Illinois. Hey, Kimberly. Hi from Huntsville. Is that Alabama or from Tennessee? Hunt, Huntsville. But I don't, I don't know. I think he's that banana from Okay, come back down. Back up. What is, I froze up. Come on, there we go, we're rolling again. Mama is making a lot of noise. Mama always makes a lot of noise, Sharon. Imagine if she had a microphone on. You would really be hollering at that. I'm a noise maker. Mama's a noise maker. She says she ain't in a library and she never did say she was gonna be a client. I used to have to work in a library in school and I got quite, been quite long enough. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mama ain't no library and she says she ain't worried about no. being quiet. It's pretty I outfit you're wearing, Mama. Are yeah. you just uh, are you just running around the house today in that outfit, or you been out well, of town? It's just old pants I worked in. And well, that, that ain't no problem. I had something on the other top I had on. Well, that's a fancy looking thing. Yeah. Have I, I ever seen that outfit? I reckon so. It's kind of old. Kind of up. Okay. So we got about two more minutes left on this. You can let's drag it out and put this on. We might stick okay. it back in there. Um, let me get it because it's going to be oh, hot. Right. It'll be hot in here. Oh, okay. It just sits there. It's like, it. it ain't that heavy. Mama says it ain't heavy. Don't it bother me. Good. Don't be over here in my kitchen is what she's really saying. Every once in a while I venture over there, but a lot of times I get thrown out. Have y'all noticed? That right there is melted. That's good. Sometimes I get tossed out. I have before. I've been told to go in the living room before. Yeah, I have. See, that cheese is melted deliciously. That's ready to go. Now I'm just going to take this crackers. And here's how I do. I pile them up right there in the middle. I don't try to do anything but that right there. I have years of cracker spread and has taught me I pile it up in the middle and I brush a little there and I brush a little here and brush a little here and brush a little there. Then I go this way, this way, I get a good even coat and I don't have to fret with it. I don't have to try to drizzle a little water here and there and go find it. I just do that quick and simple like that right there. Now mom, I guess we can put that back in there. Here, take that fork. I'm not using that fork. Oh, you're not dirty. I'm using this for Oh, wow. We can put that in there and brown it, or we can eat it like that just with the crunch. What's your pleasure? We're going to brown it. Her pleasure is to brown it, so it's going to get brown. butter's got cold on it. Cold butter? Mm -hmm. Ain't happening at Mama's place. You're going to broil that? I'm going to try to. I can see. It's going to broil it. That'll be quick. This is, you've seen, this is real time, except for the chicken. Everything else I prep right in front of you, even cut up the onion, even the celery, even all that. Mama always does something. Mama always looks pretty, don't she? Well, thank you, Vanessa, that's so sweet of you. Gonna be yummy, Glenda says. I've got some leftover pinto beans I'm gonna make pinto Cakes like you make. Oh, they are so good, Jimmy. You ain't won't be sorry. My, uh, Maggie is out from her uh, luxurious lane of the. It's cool today. It rained a little bit. Maggie is out there patrolling. I can see her. And now she's sitting on the porch. And she's not barking to get in. She's barking because the neighbor's dogs is in the yard. And she's in Not in our yard, in their yard. In their very own yard. She's just letting them know, I'm down here. I'm down here. I'm down here. I'm still the queen down here. She's so... I went out on the back porch today, and she come 
I closed the door, didn't want her out there in that mess. She come to the porch sunroom door and barked and barked and wanted me to get back in here. I come in here and she's all right. She went right She's bossy. She's out there right now telling them, you know, like, don't you try to come down here on this porch. I'm going to go get her because I don't... I'm letting her get on that. She'll be up embarrassing you. She embarrasses us in front of the neighbors because she's telling her. I hope they can't speak dog because if they can, they probably heard my you say some awful things to their, to their dogs. She's not friendly. She's not. She, if she had a Facebook page, her friend list would be like four. How did I know she wasn't barking to get in? It's a different bark. It's more of a hurry, get out of here, hurry, come on. And it's a rapid and it just don't stop. And it's just on and on and on and on and on. And the longer it goes, the louder it gets. And then once you do let her in, you get a little, for the lack of a better word, probably some unkind words said to us as she looks over her shoulder and you want some sweet tea? I don't have no No, I've got coffee, I've That's got water, tea. and I've got tea. You've got uh, peach tea left. Uh -huh. I drank all of mine I had earlier. I got peach tea. I, I'm, I'm drinking peach tea. Maggie, you got to embarrass us in front of the whole neighborhood. So, she don't care. Mama, I think you're burning. So, she don't care. She, she's not trying to impress nobody, she says. She never has. She don't care if you if yelling at the crows. Don't bother her. Um, cats, dogs, don't bother her. Don't even everybody she don't want to mess with and make her angry. That's beautiful, Mama. Let's do a quick flyover. Can y'all hear it? Sizzling fine. The only person she don't want to upset or make mad is the UPS guy. Everybody else, it don't matter. If she had a Facebook account, they'd like be four friends. The UPS guy, maybe me. Could go either way. Uh, Mama, definitely. What? If Maggie had a Facebook page, she would have probably four friends. And I said, maybe one of them would be me. It could be give or take. It sure won't be FedEx. <laughs> it wouldn't be FedEx. She, for some reason. He don't treat her. They, well, might not, but that others don't. Yeah, yeah. Some of them do, some of them don't, but we have UPS guy Scott. She, she'll go to the FedEx guy, but if they don't give her a treat, she's like, no. Now, I'll give Mom a little extra since she ain't here to tell me not to. So she, she'll tell me not to. Folks, this is a one hit wonder, one meal wonder. And y'all see me mix it up right here in this nine by nine. And uh, how easy that was. And it, I don't have no mixing bowl. I didn't have, I had one little spoon and that was it. And uh, I'm gonna try to move this. It worked out real well. Um, and that's how long it took us to fix it. How long you've been here? Uh, except for the chicken. That we've already discussed alternate forms of cooked chicken. But maybe you had chicken yesterday and you're looking to use some leftovers. Or maybe you went by the rotisserie people and they got you one. Oh, you done got my dip out while I was getting my Mama, dip. I did. And look, it gave me the perfect amount. Oh, a lot. I believe I've got more than you. Oh, yeah. Well, that That's too much. Got the plates mixed up. I knew you would be happy with whatever I gave you. <laughs> <laughs> Shame on me. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let's bless our meal. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for nourishing our bodies with it. Dear Lord, we just ask, Lord, that you be with us. Watch over us, lead and guide and direct us. Watch our every word and every step. And Dear Lord, we just pray for all those in Florida, whatever's going on. And 
for those in North Carolina, whatever was going on yand all those families affected your Lord, and we just ask you to be with each and every person gathered here tonight. They all have uh, situations in their life that we all can use prayer to the Lord, and we just pray that you'll just help the hurt, help the need, help dry the tears your Lord, and we just pray that you'll always uh, put a hedge protection on us and the children your Lord. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now look here, folks. This is just like downtown. Look at that goodness. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Mama, you give it a sampling. I'm going to. I got a big chunk of chicken right now. Mm-hmm. Mm. Below it now, it's hot. That chicken was hot. <laughs> it's delicious, though. Mm -hmm. Folks, this is this is wonderful. Um, and yes, I did take unbaked ziti to work today. It was delicious. It was delicious. Um, I think it was even better today. I swear. So if you tried that last night, it's good. It's a keeper. It's in our regular rotation now. This has always been in our regular rotation. Mm. I've been making this. Oh, I'm afraid to say. 20 odd years. 20. I'd say so. 25 odd years. Longer than you want to think of that, huh? Mm, that's a long time. But it's always been good. It's always been easy. Mmm. This is one of those meals that takes you back, you know, because you have made it for so long. I can remember making this for different occasions. Dad liked this. Mm -hmm. It's not too hot, is it, Mama? No. Frank's hot sauce didn't ruin it. It made it, it gives it a good flavor. Even if you don't like hot, you don't like hot sauce. Even if you don't eat hot, Frank's hot sauce on a cracker for lunch, like some people, it's still good. It's got a great flavor to it. Mm. We're not sponsored by Frank's, but Frank, I like your hot sauce. <laughs> I use it all the time. You like it, huh? I love it. Mmm, I just can't get over how good this is. Why don't we make this about once a week, Mama? We'll go months without making it. I know it, and you appreciate it better. I guess so. You like it. You just get used to something too often, and you get to you don't like it. I could eat tomatoes every day and never get over them. I had tomatoes, scrambled eggs, and toast for breakfast. Same thing with yesterday. Didn't mind at all. I'll be glad to have it in the morning. Hint, hint. I fixed it two mornings in the morning. <laughs> that's how you're getting. Mama got up early this morning. It was just ridiculous how early you was up. Mm -hmm. Some mornings, I just say, Bye, Mama. But some mornings, Mama's like, you want breakfast? You want me to make coffee or you already got it made? Was it this morning or yesterday morning you made coffee you got it so early? Yesterday morning. You made it this morning. I already had it made. Mm-mm. Mm. Folks, this is a keeper. This is a keeper. It's easy. You can change it around if you need to. I wouldn't, because it's just so good. Using the whipped dressing didn't change the flavor. Mm -hmm. It just, I knew it wouldn't, but I did put a little bit of, of um, Duke's in there because that tang. 
the lemon juice gives it a little tang too. Once again, we're not sponsored by Minute Maid either. But I bet you some of y'all have learned about Minute Maid here because they talk about it all the time. The Minute Maid is at the Walmart. I ain't supposed to go to Walmart either. You're not supposed to But um, it's in a white box in the frozen department. It's mostly a white box, but you'll see that little Minute Maid on there. So a lot of people, nearly every time I use this one, it says, where do you get that? It's the most real, it is real lemon juice. And it tastes just like fresh squeezed lemons. I wouldn't care to use it to make lemonade. It's so good. I mean, there, it's not that fake lemony taste. It is real lemon juice. And it's delicious. You can put it in your tea and water and you can't tell the difference. You can put it in water and it tastes like you fresh squeezed lemon in it. You can put it in your tea. It tastes wonderful. You can put it in your dishes. I wouldn't... You know, lemons, sometimes you have them, you know. This is just so much easier. Speaking of tea, get you some y'all's tea. Mm. I done drunk my peach tea earlier. And I thought tea caffeinated now. You'll stay awake. I know. But I've been drinking coffee like it, like it was going out of style today. I found a little piece of celery that wasn't a little crunchy or before it never got. They had their own crunchy celery though, Mama. Mm-mm. But if they're wanting theirs a little more tender, they might Now there's better. onion and celery. Not a little crunchy. Huh? Not all of it's crunchy, just that piece was pretty But crunchy. I don't mind a little crunch. Man, I went it raw, but... Both of those had a little crunch to them. I'm okay with that. So if you don't like crunch, leave it in there 20 minutes. That's what I say when I my crunch a little. I wouldn't put my crackers on them until the last thing. No. Anything you want to add tonight, Mama? Mm -hmm. Anything any of y'all want to add tonight? Did they say I have to watch a replay for the recipe. Donna Harris, I'll read it to you. I pretty much went with this recipe tonight. Nella will post it later. This is called, we've got two or three chicken casseroles. This one's called, <laughs> I'll tell you what's, what I've written on it. It says chicken casserole. Very good, we love it. And that's been on there for a bunch of years. It's a little greasy with that. Mm. Cooked chicken breast, cut into pieces. Now, there's no number, but you do you. We use two, or we use one whole breast in this, two. But they were the beast. You know, a chicken breast has got two parts. That's what we used. But they were cut in half. So we use one whole chicken breast. Broccoli, cooked uh, cook it before you put it in there is what it says. And it was just the way you buy it in the store. What are, you know, two stalks, two whole stalks. But you could use one. You could use a half a stalk or you could use none if you want to. A can of cream of chicken soup and you just mix it in there. A cup of mayonnaise. Tablespoon of lemon juice. One small yellow onion. A half a cup of chopped celery. I put two ribs. Leaves and all. Salt and pepper to taste. Y'all's southern secret to taste. I added that years later. One teaspoon of Frank's hot sauce, but I put a tablespoon. Mixed together in a bowl. I mixed it right in the pan. Uh, and then pour into an 8 by 8 casserole. Top with cheddar cheese. Bake for 15 minutes on 400, then add townhouse crackers, uh, a tube of them. Half a stick of butter, or, I put a little note on here, no butter if you want a nice crunch. So that's it. That's the whole recipe. And um, we put the crackers back in there and browned them. But you don't have to. Mama didn't want that cold butter, she said. And um, I use a half a stick of butter instead of a whole stick. 
And I think it tastes great. In fact, it does leave a little crunch and a little yeah. bit in the stomach. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. No bread, no salad, nothing. Just that's it. That's supper. That's supper in a one dish. And of course, coffee. Tea. And tea. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to go. Let you all go. It's Tuesday night. We've cooked two nights in a row. Are y'all pr proud of us? <laughs> you ain't getting no cooking tomorrow night. No. Um... We're going to do a um, Winnie Roast at church for the kids, but for everybody. But, uh, I was going to say, I'm going. You will probably, you might get to see some baked beans being made. Mama's are making baked beans. Scored what time you're getting in, what they say? Mama's just said, unless you goof around and don't get home, then they won't get to see nothing. But we'll be back tomorrow night. Tomorrow evening ends the month of Tupperware. Now, I know this ain't a Tupperware, and I ain't going to hold y'all night. And if some of y'all are totally into Tupperware, y'all have a good night. And the rest of you hang out, and I'll tell you a few things. I'm not saying they won't ever be back, but I have listed throughout the past few weeks things. They'll be down there. They'll be low on the video since it's coming up. That they're not putting in the new catalog. We've got to... We... I didn't get to. Our director said that these are the things that's not going to the catalog next time. And some of them are sold out. You know, that mixing pitcher with the lid is gone. I hope you've got it. Um, but there are some things that won't be in the new catalog. Like the egg, the breakfast thing for the eggs. The little purple ones. I could get one out, but I bet it's in the dishwasher. It won't be in there. And it makes a little poached egg so you can make the omelets in it. And I don't know why that's not going to be in there. Um, they do that sometimes. They just stop for a catalog and don't put it in there. And they'll maybe bring it back the next catalog in a whole new color. But uh, that's not going to be in there. I couldn't believe it. I really couldn't believe it. I'm putting that in there because I use that thing all the time. Uh, and it's so easy for mornings. You just throw your eggs in there, your omelets and whatever. Let me see if I can find it and show you. Mama, you sing. It's in the top of the cake for I get it, but I can't reach it. You sing to it. I'll jackrabbit this one, Mama. Oh, boy. You're not moving fast enough for a jackrabbit. Oh, Mama. You go too fast sometimes. <clears throat> Is it little cups in it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I always put it up the same way. So this is what I'm talking about. That's not going to be in there that I can't believe. It's this little egg thing. You can make poached eggs. Quick and easy. Drop of water, put an egg, and poke it with a toothpick. Poke the yellow. Makes beautiful fried eggs. Take them out and you can make an omelet in there. And it's got the lid. Kind of like the pasta maker, only, and you can still know, you can do egg McMuffins. I don't think that Mick is not in there. It's egg, English muffins and eggs and sausage. Like you get at the Double Arch Place. You got the two little poachers. Or you can just do a whole omelet, and this thing cooks perfect in a minute. Quick and easy for school. It won't be in there. It won't be in the catalog I'm going. They may do a monthly special or something. I got water spots on that. Um, uh, that won't be in there. So just stuff like that. And I've got different stuff on there. Um, check it out. The, um, the um, bowls that we use for all of our... Um, yeah, these bowls right here that we use for all of our leftovers because they're clear. Um, they're clear and cool, cool and clear. And they're a little weird shape. But see, they're weird shaped because if you have three of them in the refrigerator, they fit just like this. You know, they're modular. So you've got them in there and they fit. And you can just keep pushing them, <laughs> pushing them in there and they'll find them a place. They'll work into a place. I love them for that reason. 
because uh, they fit together so well. And they have pretty different color beds too. See, they make a square. Four of them makes a square. And they have different color lids. And then they got this little circle on them. And it, you can stack them. And there's a little circle on the bottom. And they fit. And I said, that's on there. I mean, can y'all tell that you don't just slide off? We tried them. I thought, I told mom, this is honest, this is a true story. I said, do you want me to buy some of these little ridiculous eye drop things that looks like an eyeball? What are you talking about? I said, these clips. She said, yes, those are wonderful. Get us some of those. I said, okay. Yeah. I'll get them. I don't, think we, I don't think we'll use them, but I'll get them. And that's all we use because you can see, as you can see in here now, you can see the food, you know, what's in there. And that's my favorite part. And so we use these all the time. Anyway. We've got several sets. <laughs> they even have a big one for uh, more. And um, anyhow, so those are still on sale. Anyhow, go over to, I'm going to post the link below here. But we may try to show you some more stuff tomorrow. And the Ziploc bags, the Tupperware bags, they're on there. And those yeah. things, you can put anything in them, and they're just as durable as they look. And you can freeze them. You can do all kinds of stuff in them. We use them. For, yeah. You know, we don't use them a lot for food. We use them for other stuff because they're waterproof. It's just wonderful. Mm -hmm. Anyhow. It'd be good when you're packing stuff for a trip. I didn't plan to different. show y'all Tupperware. We was just cooking chicken casserole. But then it dawned on me that tomorrow's Wednesday. It's it, people. That's it. The month of first August is over tomorrow for Tupperware World. Anyhow, we're not going to keep you any longer. Just throwing that out there. Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama. God bless you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. You all have a blessed evening and a good rest tonight and a beautiful day tomorrow. Yes. It's half over. The week's half over tomorrow. Tupperware month's completely over. Yes. Good night. Good night. Bye, y'all. Bye, bye.